Habakkuk 2 verse 4 is one of the most important verses in the Old Testament because it's one of the most important verses in the New Testament. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Now, it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. So in Romans 1, he draws from Habakkuk to say, here's what it looks like for the righteousness of God to be revealed. It is from faith to faith. Here's how you can be a righteous person. And now in Galatians, he wants to make clear what it is and what it is not that produces this decree of righteousness. It is not works of the law. That's not how you're gonna get it. Remember Habakkuk's first complaint is the law is paralyzed. They're disobeying the law. It would make sense that God would say, well, you'll be righteous if you go back and you start obeying the law. But that's not what he says. No, the righteous will live not by law keeping, but by faith. And then there's a third time in Hebrews chapter 10. So Hebrews 10, 37, he pulls from Isaiah and from Haggai, yet a little while and the coming one will come and will not delay. And now he goes to Habakkuk, but my righteous one shall live by faith. Verse 39, we are not those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who have faith and preserve their souls, which leads then to the famous Hall of Fame of Faith in chapter 11. The Hebrews were facing here opposition for their faith, being misunderstood, being mistreated as Christians. And so now the writer pulls from Habakkuk to say, here's how you have to live. Here's how you're gonna persevere. How shall I then live? Will we accept God's word in the midst of a barrage of bad news? So this word, the righteous shall live by his faith. Sometimes it's easier for us to believe the salvation part. Okay, I, I get that, believe, well, Jesus loves me, and he died on the cross, and I'm gonna go to heaven, I'm gonna be saved, I believe that. But faith is not just there, it, it, it's here. That, that's where it was for Habakkuk. You have Babylonians coming, you don't know when, but I promise they'll come and they're gonna wipe you out. They're gonna destroy the temple, they're gonna take over Jerusalem, you're gonna be punished. This is going to be the worst possible news for your entire nation. It's in the midst of that scenario that the Lord says, the righteous shall live by faith. Do you have faith in the midst of all that is going around that God is with you? Do you have faith that, the, that death will lose its sting? Faith that in all of these things we will be more than conquerors through him who loved us? Faith that Jesus is worth it. The righteous shall live by faith. How shall we be saved? How shall we live? The answer is the same by faith.